it's Elena here from Recruit UK. So previously we've spoken about the lack of female financial planners, however this lack of diversity also extends to lack of ethnic minority financial planners. So we all know that sort of generally overall the industry is notoriously known for being white males and the financial planning sort of community does not represent the overall population but there is plenty of opportunities from having a really diverse financial planning team including having financial planners from ethnic minorities so as we've spoken about how the gender profile is changing within the UK so is the race profile by 2035 47.3% of the population will come from BAME communities so it's really important to have financial advisors that represent these communities to attract the top talent as we've spoken about previously people are looking for someone that um, sort of connects with their experience Experiences. So having people from different cultures and backgrounds allows that you'll be able to access this ever-growing market of BAME people that are looking for financial advice. Vanessa Barnes, a chartered financial planner, says, how can we attract clients from ethnic minority communities if we don't recruit advisors from these groups? So this displays just how poignant this is. Also, having a diverse workforce really applies to um, appeals to the modern worker. Um, a recent report showed that 86% of people, when they are looking for a new opportunity, really value a firm's equality, diversity and inclusion policy. So it's really important to have a diverse workforce because this attracts the hottest diverse talent. Also, having a diverse workforce appeals to clients more. Clients come from all walks of life and having people from different communities, different experiences, different perspectives means that it's easier to speak to clients. So it's also important, to re um, it's really important to make sure that you have female financial planners and financial planners from ethnic minority groups. I'm not saying that BAME people are looking for BAME financial advisors or females are necessarily always looking for female financial advisors, but having people that represent all different people within the community really includes and increases that feeling of inclusion. This is also really important as we talk about this holistic financial planning model that makes sure financial advice is accessible to all. And all of this combined and having a diverse workforce um, has actually proven to be much more profitable. A Ransand survey in 2018 called Paying Attention displayed that the financial, fa financial planning firms in the top 25% of ethnic diversity overall have a 33% increase in profits. So we've spoken about all the benefits and all the brilliant opportunities that having a diverse financial planning team can bring, but how do you attract ethnic minorities into financial planning firms? So first, start off by looking at your financial planning team and is there ways that you can promote ethnic minorities into senior positions or promote them into financial planning positions? Statistics shows that only one in 10 BAME individuals within the industry are in senior management roles. And also statistics from BAME students show that they're more likely to drop out of university if they aren't representative, represented in the community around them. So this extends into the workplace so make sure that you're promoting and putting BAME individuals into sort of senior and financial planning roles and when you've got them in these positions showcase them off, put them on your website, let people know that you really are not just thinking about diversity and inclusion but you are being at the forefront of this and implementing it in your firm. Also it's important to look at your interview process and make sure that you've got no unconscious bias there. Um, you could do this so you're possibly having blind applications with no names or genders just so people are valued on their experience and on merits. Also view your interview panel, make sure that you've got a diverse interview panel and there is no unconscious bias. Also, as we discussed about introducing the industry to females at a younger age, it's also really important that we're doing this for BAME individuals. We're targeting as we come out, uh, coming out of university or in general, just changing financial planning education. And the younger that we let individuals know about this industry, uh, the more likely they are to sort of move into the industry within the future. However, true inclusion is just not about people feeling welcome, it's about making sure they have, can have a sustainable career path. So have a look at your company culture and make sure that they will feel included and as part of the team. You can do this for, through diversity workshops or seminars, or how about making sure that your firm celebrates sort of festivals from other cultures so everyone feels included and can celebrate together and feels as part of a team. It's important to remember that true inclusion and diversity is about having making sure sure that your firm represents all different genders, skin tones, backgrounds and disabilities and as we have shown this can make sure that you attract and retain top talent and prove to be more profitable as a firm.